Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' systems. So, today we've got one system from the user, the Golden AU, to check out. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So their system is called the Verus Trinary System. So let's go ahead and get that loaded up. So it should be at the top. Yeah, we go. Okay, let's see what we got. Right, hello. Right, so here we are. Okay, so we've got a description to read here as well. So just bear me, let me get this up. So, in the TXT file. Okay, so the Verus Trinary System is located 789,390 light years away in the constellation of Corona Australis. Stars. Verus is the main star of the system. It is a K1.5 V type orange dwarf. It is approximately 1 billion years old. Cool. Okay. So there's also a second star. So where's that? So AAS over here. This one. So this guy uh, is a direct partner of Verus. It is an M5.5 type red dwarf. It is approximately also 1 billion years old. And then lastly we got Icaro Icarun is the Proxima Centauri of the system. It is very far away from the main pair. It is an M3.5 V type red dwarf. It is approximately 870 million years old. So it formed a little after. It's all the way over there. Okay, cool. Right, anyway, it's down on two of the planets. So the first of the planets here, we got Nuss. Nuss. Oh, that's a really scorched surface. Look at that. Okay, so oh yeah, we need to switch it to realistic mode as well. There you go. Cool, cool. That's a pretty, uh, pretty bean up surface. It's got a set of rings as well. Okay. So, rocky planets. Nuss is the closest planet to Verus. It is a super Venus or 1.44 Earth masses. It has a dark brown atmosphere containing mostly carbon dioxide and its isotopes. It has a very small ring system, throw any remains of the impact on its surface are gone due to the eroding winds and tectonics. Cool. Next up we've got Litorium. Where's the thing? So taking a jump out now. Where are we going? Uh, labels. It's over here, so we're missing this one out then. We're skipping one. Okay, so we're going here next, okay. So it's an Earth-like looking world, okay. Got some moons chilling as well. Nice. Cool, cool. Okay, so the planet itself. So, let's keep going between the, the game and the notepad here. Okay, uh, it's a habitable world orbiting Verus. It is 0 0.945 Earth masses and contains mosses and frog like amphibians, which inhabit the warm marshes. Hazy forests and even some life live in the harsh, cold deserts. It has three moons, two of which are asteroids, but the third is a glorious red sandy moon, as we just saw. Awesome stuff. Okay. Next up, we got Eeyore. It's a boring rocky pad orbiting closer on Aries. Aes. Okay, so hang on, so we're changing stars. So we're going over here now. Okay. Okay, the order's a little, uh, little uh, off then. Okay, so this one here. So like I said, a boring rocky world. Cool, and it's got a little moon as well. Hey. Okay. All right. Next up, we have got Linax. It's a Titan Earth hybrid, being the size of Earth but containing oceans of oil. Just like Titan, it has one moon as well as Eeyore orbits around Aeis. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, so, Linux. Okay, we're doing all these in a rather bizarre order. Okay, there it is. So, a Titan Earth hybrid mix. Cool, there it is. There's that oil he was talking about. Okay. Which must have means it had life at some point, because oil is obviously a fossil fuel. So, interesting. Okay. Okay, next up we've got Swords. It's a Hattel world orbiting around Icarones. Okay, so we're going back to the main star now. So, where's Swords? Hang on, where, where are we? Uh, oh, we're going around the third star now. Right, hang on. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, this order of doing things is very unusual. Right, so here's Soars. Just, yeah, very, very heavy ocean world. Okay, so. Had to world order now. Okay, it does not have life on its created archipelagos, but has a five marine ecosystem instead. It has rings on one moon. Junas is another boring rocky world. It has no moons. It orbits Icarone. Soars is closest rocky neighbour. So that is this one. So another boring rock, so we'll just hop on from that. Okay, next up we've got gas planets and ice giants. Okay, so 
Galen. It's a mini Neptune orbiting around Verus. So let's just hop straight to Verus. Actually, we can go straight to it here, actually. So here it is. Yeah, that's a lot better. We'll just keep that menu open. Okay, so here it is. Nice looking gas giant. Alrighty. So. It contains barely any ice. It's instead that a more typical gas giant colours are due to Saturn. It has one large moon. So where's that large moon? There it is. Okay. Looking pretty battered as well. Look at that. Okay. Cool, cool. Next up we got uh, Bang Z. It's a super Jupiter orbiting around Verus. Okay, so we've got another. So that's this one here. Also have a big ring system. Look at that. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, it's quite boring, although it does a substantial ring system. Next up, we've got Dione. It's an ice giant that, um, an only gaseous planet orbiting Aes. It is a white with bands of Uranus, Neptune, blue. It has no moons. So that is this one. So Uranus, Neptune kind of mixed together, that one. Okay. Cool, cool. Next up, we've got Slate. It's a grey mini Neptune. It has a tight orbit around Icron. It is predominantly grey and grey. Um, which is where it gets its name from. So that's Slate. It's over here. There we go. Cool, cool. Next up we've got Nep Neptulago. It's a green and brown Saturn-like gas giant orbiting Icro. And it has some rings and a moon. So that is this one here. There's its rings. And there's a moon. Oh, yeah. So there they are there. Cool, cool. Looking good. Uh, and then we have asteroids and comets. Okay, so we've got Ilatin. It's an asteroid orbiting Verus. It orbits between the Tauron and Bunks. Okay, so Ilatin. Here it is here. So just your average comet there. And we've got Cuban. Like Ilatin, is an asteroid orbiting Verus. So where is it? This one. Okay. Cool, cool. Then we've got Tamine. It's a periodic stargazer comet orbiting Verus. That's this one here. So that's this very, very elongated orbit there. Okay. Probably in complete darkness, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay. Then we've got uh, Minoshki. It's a red asteroid orbiting Aries. Okay, so that's this one. Minoshki. So there's that one there. Cool. Um, then we got the last thing we got Morsa. It's a warm asteroid orbiting Icalon. Uh, where is it? Where are we? What's its name? It was the Morsa. Okay, so that is there. There we go. Cool. And there it is. That is the system. Awesome. So that's everything. Yep. That's all of the thing cleared. Nice. Okay, we'll close that down. Right, there we go. Let's get a line up for all these objects as we finish up. So there we go. Whoa, it's a big gas giant, bigger than two of the stars, the orange and red dwarfs there. Nice. Let's get rid of those rings. There we go, that's better. So we can see everyone properly. So there is the lineup. But yeah, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this system, make sure to press that like button, subscribe for more as well. Um, and again, a massive thank you to 30,000 subscribers. This is the first video I'm making. Um, since we hit 30,000 as well. So yeah, massive, massive thank you for that, guys. I really, really appreciate all your support. It's absolutely amazing. We'll definitely have some 30k specials planned in the coming weeks, so stay tuned for that as well. And yeah, with that all said and done, guys, make sure you stay safe, have a great day out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.